back again. So, you have been taking loss after loss after loss. Or are you just inconsistent? You take a win here, take a win there. It, in between, there are more losses than, than the wins, right? Well, that's what I'm here to show you today. Today, I'm going to show you how you can catch over 100 pips every single week consistently. 100 pips consistently every single week. So, stay tuned to the end because I revealed to you how I caught 100 pips just this week on GBP USD. And in this video, I will show you exactly how liquidity is engineered in the market and how the banks actually are trading and delivering price to their objectives okay so we're going to eliminate the support resistance myths and all that jazz right so let's go ahead hop into it um again i'm down pips and if you've been looking to you know get out of the old retail ways of trading trend lines or support resistance RSI's and all that stuff and, and you're just looking for more consistency you're in the right place before further ado please make sure you like subscribe to this channel so that you can continue to get this awesome sauce you feel me so um, let's just go ahead and jump straight into the video all right so right here what you're seeing is um, like a weekly profile in real time um, and I delineated it for my, for my eyes this is how I like to view my charts but I'm gonna show you exactly how this played out and how this trade played out for me um, on this week I got my weekly objective and I was done traded once this week but in the process I'll show you exactly how this price was delivered and how liquidity is actually engineered in the marketplace so on Monday we opened up right and so I preface by this so in another video in my top down analysis video that you guys can watch um, you I break down exactly how the daily range is uh, is pretty much delivered and with this particular model or strategy that I use I want to say 75% of the time every week I'm looking for weekly range expansion I'm trying to trade the weekly range okay and trading is as simple as this okay so how now where the wherever you're coming from retail I'm, I'm assuming you're coming from you know you've been trading support resistance and things like that trend lines and all that eliminate that from your brain for just like this video for the next 30 minutes or so and I want to give you some simple concepts that you can apply like today you can go back test it for test it and in everything but how you you have to ask yourself how is how does price work in, in the markets forex stocks futures options whatever they all work on this similar pretty much standard procedure there is an open right high low close okay so um, what we sometimes refer to as oh so when you see me and future videos having OHLC, you know what that means. That's the open, it's the opening of price, the high of price, the low of price, and the close. And 
I mean, if you can master that, if you can figure that out, right, you are well ahead of a lot of people. And, and I find it that a lot of retail um, strategies or st- strategists or experts or um, educators, they don't really go into something as similar as that. So, um, you know, I've shown this before and my mentor, Michael ICT, you know, he really breaks this down a lot and, I, and I'll link to uh, one of his videos where he actually shows exactly um, how this actually works, but let's go to a, let's go to a daily time frame, right? So it's pretty much how price, how price is. So you can see here, price on Monday, right? I don't trade Mondays. Definitely trade Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and I'll trade Fridays as well. Sunday, Monday, I, I stay out of that. Like I've, I, I lose more than than I win, and that's typically I'm looking to see what I'm. I'm really trying to see the market maker's hand. I'm trying to see the bank's hand, and the, the dealer will show their hand if you have patience, and that's really like one of like key things into trading but um so on monday right we're looking at price open right and and price are, is opening up at midnight new york time okay so when price opens up at midnight new york time i'm looking at where they're most likely to grab liquidity and how do we know what liquidity is okay so so let's just say this is exactly how this week is going to play out this week, right? So you have the open price, right? Price opens up and then price does this, right? It goes up, right? It goes up and then price up. From there on Tuesday, you start to see price drop, right? This is what we would call expansion. So it expands all the way down and then what we're going to see is price is going to go up it's going to kind of reverse price is already delivered here on thursday i explain why but let's just say price comes back up here around friday and this is what the weekly bar candle of bar the bar is going to look potentially look like and so just to show you if you come here on your trading view and you put change that from candles to bars right so this is what a bar looks like okay and so what we're doing is we're trying to um, predict the weekly range uh, bar to look like and this is exactly this is opening price right zoom in for you this is opening price price up expansion close okay so that's all that is when i draw that out all right and um so so that's what we're looking for right we're looking we're looking for price on the weekly expansion right this is what we're looking for we're looking for price to open go higher and um in my top down analysis i explain how you find that directional bias and from from a long-term perspective but this is what i'm looking to trade i'm looking to trade that weekly expansion and so uh i'm waiting monday tuesday to, for the market makers to show my hand so what we see here on monday price opened up right it consolidated pretty much right this, this is pretty much this is pretty much consolidation right and price kind of staggered up and you go back from the previous week and you're looking at okay what's where's price most likely to go to next right we you know i said this in another video we look for where price is currently price most likely to go to next 
And so, as you can see here, when price opened up on Monday, we have all this sell side liquidity that I'm notating in my head, right? So we have this sell side liquidity, you have this right here, right? So you have all of these like liquidity, and so what what we're looking for like these long wicks, right? These long wicks, that is, that's liquidity, right? They, they're leaving, the banks are leaving liquidity behind. What we mean by that is typically um, in retail strategies, you're taught that this is a support line, right? Um, and you have, you have people who have their stops here. So you got buy stops, and then you also have those breakout traders that if, if it were to break the support, then they would be looking to short, right? So you have your sell stops um, below here are your sell side liquidity, right? So we're looking at that sell side liquidity. Anything um, like this, which would be considered resistance in a retail's, uh, I guess, textbooks, we would consider this as buy side liquidity okay this is where um, the banks know exactly where the the retail liquidity is pretty much like standing this is what we're taught we're taught to you know buy that breakout when it when it's breaking resistance right um or sometimes even selling right and so um, so this here is this is liquidity being generated okay so what happened is price went up it dropped down price came up it dropped down so when we are looking here in real time on monday i'm looking at you know accumulation manipulation and distribution okay that is that is the classic ict market maker sell model so i trade Market make a sell model, the market make a buy model, right? So we're looking for accumulation price to go up, and we're looking to short that high of the week or that high of the day when we're bearish. When we are bullish, we are looking to go long at the low of the week or the low of the, the low of the day, pretty much, right? And so, um, so now that we know how liquidity is generated, we see here. Monday we have you know we have this Asian range high and we have this Asian range low okay reason why I you know I didn't like I did I just I just didn't like the price action in real time on, on Tuesday um, because I didn't know if we would continue to go long or I just didn't have like a really clear-cut directional buy so I really wanted to see them uh, take out some liquidity first and as you can see the liquidity is everywhere man um so the you know, like those equal lows those double bottoms are relatively equal lows uh, a lot of people are taught that is just another liquidity pool man. that's all that is so on on monday when monday opens up right we're looking at a weekly pro a bearish weekly profile i already know that based off of my top down analysis i know we are at a premium price that's why i have the the red shaded area in the back so i know like i'm anticipating to go short especially with my benchmark dixie you know gaining strength this week i'm already like you know i have my bias for the week okay and so uh so my eyes goes here. Okay. My eyes goes here on Monday. As soon as, as soon as Monday finishes up, my eyes go here for that sell side liquidity. And what happens on Tuesday? So kind of price kind of like staggers up. And what are they what are they doing here? They take out this liquidity pool here. This buy side liquidity. Out 
takes out this bison and put it in it. And it's a strong move. It's a strong move down. This is how you know this is exactly where they want to go. This is exactly where they want to go. So then they come here. And what, what are they doing here? As they're as they are going down, they are generating more buy side liquidity, right? Let's like that that resistance. So this is how they they try to trap like the retail traders because retail traders are looking at this as if oh, if it breaks out then we're gonna you know we're gonna continue to go along which you know you can even see like the the old trend lines and stuff like that you know this junk i mean if you trade this way man it's i'm not you know i'm not passionate you know i've luckily for me i i got my start in, using these institutional concepts so um you know luckily i i never been tainted i guess you want to say but typically you know you see it bounce so you know i guess this is this would be considered support so boom it came support support once twice and then boom it broke through right and most are i guess waiting for it to come back up but it broke that trend line right so that that kills that trend line Myth, right and so now on now on Tuesday we are you know now I'm really like I'm really confident that we are bearish for the week right and so uh, I wait for accumulation to happen right so price is accumulating we got the Asian range high the Asian range low I pay attention to that and then the opening price right so what do we say here on this bar chart? We're looking for the price to open, the price to go up. That's accumulation. So this is your AMD model. This is accumulation. And then, because banks love to manipulate, especially in, I mean, really every market, but really in Forex. So you have manipulation here. So you got that manipulation happening. And then you have distribution. Alright. So you have your open, your high, your low, your close, right? That's what we're anticipating profile to actually pan out but on this like in real time on this on this Wednesday my thought process was okay so we accumulated here we had a tight Asian range right price opened up at midnight on Wednesday so now so now I'm looking for that ICT Judas swing right I'm looking for price to go below or if, it, if it's going, I'm, I'm looking for it to go above opening price, okay? Um, but price went, dip below, right? I didn't like Wednesday's price action because, like, I know that, I know that we are in a, a weekly bearish profile, or at least this is what I'm anticipating. So, uh, but as you can see, there was liquidity generated here, right? So you got these relative equal lows. Asian, it broke their Asian range low. It took out that liquidity, right? It took out that liquidity. It took out this liquidity here that was resting from last, from the previous week, right? From Friday. It took that out, right? It purged that, and then it shot right back up on Wednesday, okay? This wasn't just like I, I'm looking for the explosive moves. This is why I didn't take it. And then I, I was looking for price to go up and continue down. But I knew that they were still generating liquidity here because it didn't give me the Judas swing or that protraction that I was looking for. But then it also created more liquidity. So my eyes go there. So now I'm really anticipating Thursday. Thursday is like when I'm going to take my shot, regardless. When, when lose a draw. This is when I'm gonna take my shot. So it took out liquidity. Now, granted, 
this could have been a reversal here because typically they like to reverse the market midweek so wednesday thursday you look for a midweek reversal so honestly textbook we're looking for you know we're looking to take this you know if we are going to be bearish we're looking to take our our trade tuesday wednesday and be out by thursday typically um but you know for this i knew that we still had liquidity here that we needed to take out so so here wednesday it's just price is just gyrating it's it's just manipulating right now and it's not giving you that it's not giving me that clear cut uh setup now granted other traders may see this as a clear cut setup but for me uh, based off of my trading model i'm not i don't see that i also see this buy side liquidity here that they generated on tuesday so then price accumulates and then uh price actually gives me that swing it gives me that judas swing and price goes above that opening price right so it manipulates and so i'm i'm anticipating from here at this point here to to just shoot down and take out this sell side liquidity take out that previous sell side liquidity here right and it does that to the sides and we got a four to one risk to reward ratio and I get my weekly objective of 100 pips okay and so that's exactly what i look for this this model when you're when you're trading that like we're basically it's essentially like what what i'm looking for is tr if i know i'm bearish but it's specifically in this week i'm looking to trade this range here right i'm looking to get this range that is exactly what i'm looking for and in this range i know Typically, I can catch anywhere from 50 to 100 pips by clockwork. And my job is to do sell here. So you're selling the manipulation, right? And we're just talking from a bearish profile. If, if this was a bullish profile, it'll be reversed. It'll be the price opened here, right? Accumulated, distributed up here, and I will be looking to as close to the low of the day or low of the week um, for here i didn't catch the high of the week now granted there was an opportunity here the way you you know you could have i you know you, you could have anticipated this you, your anticipation skills have to be on point but here um you know we started to take out we took it took out that liquidity here that buy side liquidity and started to shoot down Granted, um, you could have pulled out your fib tool, and if I if I go down to the 15 minute time frame, I'm sure I could find a situation where I could have traded on Tuesday, but I just wasn't mentally there. So, um, let's see if you if you measure from this Asian high to maybe the swing low, yeah. There was a uh, there was an OTE pattern that played out perfectly, um, right? You know, around three in the morning, Central Time, during that London session, you could have caught, you know, and then look, look at the ICT order block that converges with it. So definitely could have took this trade on uh, on Tuesday and price delivered as it was supposed to. For me, this was a cleaner setup, and now you can see why. You know, I just you know, when you come down on a 15 minute time frame, you see the accumulation, you see the Asian range low, you see the Asian range high, you see that opening price, right? Price open. And I'm, I'm gonna keep delineating this so you, you can get into your into your skull. Open, price open, right? Manipulate it, right? And then, boom, get my target price close around here for the day right so you 
just looking at it from a daily. This is just a this is a daily bar, right? So boom. So that's exactly that's what I'm trying. I'm, I'm shorting. I'm trying to get as high as up here. This one sniper entry, um, and you know as far as how did you how did I catch that? Well, um, let's see. So basically, you know when you're looking at that accumulation, you're looking at all this is liquidity. I mean, there's really once I saw that this went up, I was like, okay. I meant it once it took out this buy side liquidity as soon as it took out this buy side liquidity I entered the trade so um, I just so happened to get that sniper entry now you have multiple entries you could I could have actually taken I could have taken this trade and it got an OT pattern boom hit the 79 and drop so um, two entries right here on Tuesday and that's and, and as you can see, there's liquidity everywhere. There was, there was uh, on on Thursday here. You can see that the the sell side liquidity was resting here. You can see the buy side liquidity was resting here. All these relative equal highs. They took it out. But you just had this previous from the uh, from the Monday. Took it out and boom, price went done for the week. Profits bank. And that's pretty much how you know this is exactly how you're looking looking at the marketplace you know you're you're looking to sell high buy low I mean it really is that simple folks um, you know accumulation manipulation distribution that's it you're looking for accumulation manipulation in price right um, aka that Judas swing that to form and then you once you see that liquidity purge that's when the um that's when you that's when you enter the market and that's how you run you you don't beat the market makers i also see that a lot in in the community like the smart new concept community and I, I i see that oh beat the market makers beat the market makers and it's like it's not necessarily beating the market makers. I don't know why that's saying. I, I look at it more as riding their coattails, you know, because in the end, there's really no one who can truly beat the market makers. I mean, the market makers, man, they're the, de the dealer always wins in the end. Of the, at the end of the day, like there's no, there's, I, I will never, you will never, any of us will ever be able to compete with the quote unquote market makers but what you can do you can you can see their footprints in the market and you can ride their coattails right you can ride their coattails and and collect profit along the way and not get spanked in the market and once i started i mean once i saw this um man i traded support and resistance probably for like two months and then i got introduced to these concepts and it changed my life because my background is real estate and you know when we would go flip a house you know we would look to buy distressed assets at a discount fix it up and sell it at a premium and when I came into trading like I took that same mindset and so you know like when I started to you know, use a lot of these retail strategies it just didn't make sense to me because it's like it's like, dude, we're, 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 we're buying high and we're selling, we're selling low. Like it doesn't, you know, that, that does not, that does not resonate with me. And so, um, Lord willingly, um, I was blessed to come in contact with, uh, ICT and, and he's really inspired my, my trading model and, and how I, how I trade the market. So definitely, um, I definitely owe all my credit. To, to him and, and really exposing me to exactly what I was already thinking prior to you know I just I didn't I didn't I, I needed to see it for myself I need some, someone who had mastered it and so like now I'm just sharing with you guys um, along my journey how how that liquidity is is generated 
how these banks actually trade and how you can how you can profit off of it just by you know like seeing these things for yourself okay now the the, the week is the week is done and typically you're gonna find you know um, you know you can this in itself is a model like you know I, I'm showing you here how liquidity liquidity is, is generated and how it's taken um, how, it's, how liquidity is purged and how the I guess you want to say the algorithm of price how it just works and, and you see it's an ebb and flow it's it's really it's an ebb and flow and, and when you are looking at price look at it just from that perspective just look at it from that perspective look at it. where where there's buy side liquidity where there's sell side liquidity where's price most likely to go to next right and and so you know from here on friday we can see that you know we know we've we've delivered on our objectives we came down we took out that sell side liquidity so price is going to probably accumulate a little bit more and you, we may see a spike um you know it may reverse or it may continue down who knows um and it go down because right now we we're at a premium price so price can you know can do something to what they're doing and when I see when they show their hand like they clearly showed that show their hand here on what they were doing you just ride along man like don't even try to fight it don't try to don't try to outsmart the market maker just see where they are and you know they they leave clues so this has been a great video um, I don't want to overdo it and I don't want to, you know, overbore you. So I want you to soak all that in what you learn and apply this to your charts. Like, you know, don't take my word from it. Apply it to your charts. Look, you know, look into look into other videos by Inner Circle Trader ICT on liquidity. I'll link a couple videos that that's helped me a lot uh, in my journey, but. Um, you know with this video that hopefully I was able to give it to you uh, in, a, in a very easy simple way on how to look at it and just take it man and, and apply it but make sure you guys like comment below um, I'm actually gonna be doing a giveaway coming up so continue to you know do the do me the favor man the, the, the YouTube algorithm share this video subscribe click that notification bell and uh, till the next video we shall see you soon